Well, managing pain is part of their daily lives. And the recent concern of opioid abuse leaves some with few options for relief. And 7 News reporter Kimberly Brown joins us in the studio with a look at this issue. Kim? Tom, Diane, you know, managing chronic pain with medication without getting addicted can be a tough hurdle for some to cross. However, it is possible. Also, adding up the cost and the possible side effects, it's a price that many families feel compelled to pay. Most of Evans Littlefield's days are filled with pain and strain. For the past nine years, he suffered with chronic back pain. It has an effect on my family as well. His son, Russell, is 31 years old and has cerebral palsy. Putting him down for a nap is part of their daily routine. His days of pain and strain are a far cry from his days on the police force as an officer and a captain. He also worked for the Spartanburg Solicitor's Office. He takes medication to help fight the pain. Felicia Tapp is a nurse practitioner with Emergency MD and suggests trying other options before turning to strong medication. Pain management clinics, there is chiropractic clinics, there are steroid injections, there's epidural back injections, there are many different things that can be done. But for Littlefield, he says he's tried all of that and his pain is still persistent. I can't get up without medication. I can't function without medication. With the current opioid crisis, Littlefield says there are some good people like him who just need a little help daily. He's looking to policymakers to help cut the cost, red tape, and to help drug makers minimize the side effects. If you're on them for prolonged periods of time, you can have neurologic changes. Littlefield fights through the pain and the side effects of the medication because he says he has a lot of people depending on him. That's the only choice I have. Yeah. Well, Evans Littlefield is not addicted to medication. After trying different combinations, he and his doctor finally found what works for him, and he just wants others to know that there is hope.